Hello, welcome to this video in which I'm going to use Ansible to upgrade the iOS image on a Cisco 2960 switch. So my name is Roger Perkin, um, I'm CCIE 50038 um, and if you like network automation and you like Ansible and you like Python, um, I create videos on all of that so I'd appreciate hit that subscribe button um, if you'd like to see more of these videos but in today's video we're going to do an iOS upgrade so I'm going to talk you through the playbook and then we're actually going to do it live so you can see it in action okay so I'm just gonna hide myself away there so we can focus so this video is on YouTube and it's also on my website so you're either watching it on YouTube and if you want to see the website article then hit the link below if you're on my website then you're already there so this playbook as I said is going to perform quite a few steps so we can do an iOS upgrade um, so the first thing that we have to do is validate the current image that's running on the switch so that's where we go in here we're going to use the iOS fax module and what that does is that will pull some fax out of the uh, Cisco switch and we can, we've already set a var here that I want to compare against so this is my version that I'm going to be upgrading to this is the standard image that I want to be using and then we're going to use this iOS fax module and it's going to check the current version so then this comes down and says um, a message which says current version is and then we're using the variable ansible net version which will pull out the live running version on that switch and then it's going to compare it with the variable that I've set up here so it will say when ansible net version that is not equal to the upgrade version then display this message image is not compliant and will be upgraded um, then now it's not 100% needed but whenever you do a Cisco iOS upgrade it would be wise to take a backup of that configuration uh, so this part of the playbook I'm not going to go into all the details on this bit it's all on my github um, if you'd like to check that that's also in the description um, but this will basically create a folder on your machine and put a backup in today's date folder then we use the iOS command module we do a show run and we take that configuration and drop it into that backups folder and what you end up with um, I'll show over here is a folder here that's got today's date on it and then in the in that folder we'll have a full configuration which is the switch name and today's date and the entire config so that is always very helpful to have before you do anything like this so back into the playbook so then i use the ios config save when always option so that literally just saves the configs that's just in case before you do an upgrade you've got a switch uh, that hasn't has had a config change on it and maybe has not been saved so you will reload it you're going to lose that um, now the most important thing on a software upgrade is actually getting the new image um, into the new switch so we're going to use a we're going to use a new module to me which is the net put module um, so this literally takes a source and destination so um, I've downloaded the Cisco image already and that currently sits in the images folder so let's just show uh, let's just check we've got that so that is in here so I've got a folder called images and there's the image that I've got these 2960 land base 12255 so that's the image that I'm going to be upgrading go back into my Ansible folder 
So all it does is it takes the source file, which is in my images folder here, and that's the one we've just seen. And the destination is the flash um, of our device. So it's flash colon forward slash, and then the same image name again. Now this is the very important part um, that you have to put a timeout on here. Ansible's command timeout default is 30 seconds. So if you try and copy a file up to that switch, after 30 seconds, it'll just stop the command. Um, it's going to take a few minutes to copy that switch image. Um, so I've timed this. It takes about four minutes plus to upgrade this image. So I have put this in. So this is a, um, an Ansible command timeout. And this literally just affects this um, task within your playbook. Now we could specify the Ansible command timeout to be 600 seconds globally in the Ansible config file, but then that would affect every single um, command that you ran. And if anything hung, it, you could put some delays into your sort of playbooks. So this literally for this task puts the timeout value of 600 seconds, which is enough time uh, to get this image to copy up. And then when we do a iOS upgrade, on a Cisco device and we need to change the boot variable so this is just the Cisco command that you need to put in so we're using the iOS config module and the command boot system flash and then this is the name of the image that we want to boot from and then I'm going to save that again and then once you've uploaded the image change the boot variable you need to reload the device um, now, the only problem with reloading a Cisco device is that it will prompt you. Um, let's get, uh, just bring in the secure CRT for this. So, here is the switch that we are upgrading. And you can see it's currently got one image in here. And what I was going to say is if you type reload on a Cisco switch and hit enter, it's going to ask you to confirm that. Now, we can't confirm that within the Ansible playbook. So we have to use this bit of the CLI command module. So it's another module, the CLI command module. And within that, you can actually put in prompts and answers. So the command we want to put to the device's reload, which I just showed you there. And then the prompt that you're going to get back is confirm. So the answer to that prompt is yes. So this will literally reload the device and answer yes, and away it goes. Now, once that device is reloading, we want to wait until the device comes back. So we're going to use the wait for module. And the host will be the host that we're connecting to. And what we're going to do is wait until we've got connectivity back on port 22. So basically, before we can SSH back to that device again. Now I'm going to delay this for 90 seconds just to give uh, the device time to come back. And then once it does come back, as soon as you can, S as soon as Ansible, can SSH straight into the device, um, the playbook will commence. But this will just pause the playbook until we are um, back into connecting to the switch. And then once we are connected back into it, we're going to check the current image. So we'll use the iOS fax module again. We'll just pop a quick message to the screen that says the current version is the one we're running. And then I'm going to use the assert module and assert that the iOS version is the correct one. So this is the correct one that we want it to be. And it's literally going to say assert that the upgrade iOS version, which is the one we wanted it to be, is the same as the actual one that's running on the switch. And it will debug a message to the screen that will say software has been completed. If these two do not match, the playbook will fail. Um, so that's the playbook um, from start to finish. And let me bring this back in again. Now, I don't want to reload this switch yet. So let's go back into it. 
Well, I'll just show you um, the show version on this switch. It's currently 1502. We're going to put it to 12255. That's the actually the latest suggested version for this platform. Um, this is just a switch I've got in my lab at the moment. And if I check the flash, we only have one image file in the flash, and that is the current one that we're running. Okay, so that's the breakdown of the playbook. We're going to do this live on the switch now, and I'm going to show you step by step uh, what happens as it happens. So to run an Ansible playbook, we just do Ansible dash playbook um, iOS. Then he forgot the name iOS upgrade dot YAML. So this is now, as I said, going to check the current version that's on the switch. This should come back with 15.02. So here it says the current version is 15.02. Um, my upgrade image is 12.255. And we've got a message that says image is not compliant and will be upgraded. So now we create that folder for the backup. Now I've run this a few times already today, so that image is already backed up. And the folder's been created, so it's now backing up the running config. Now it's going to save that into the folder, so we've already got now a backup of the exact config. Now it's just going to do a quick save. So save running config. And now we're copying the image. Now this is the element where I'd put the timeout to be 600 seconds uh, because as soon as this task starts, um, there is no um, knowledge of what's going on with Ansible. So it just starts the, the connection and Ansible's default command timeout is 30 seconds. So it, you're literally running a command on Ansible and if it it will run it and that after 30 seconds it, it disconnects you so it doesn't know that you're still performing a, a, a software copy so let's just bring um, the switch back in again this is going to take a couple minutes to perform that software upgrade so you see here before when I did DIR flash um, we had one image just the one we were running so if I now repeat that command now you can see now that we've got the second image. This is the 2960 12255. Um, it's already uploaded 24 megs of that image. And if we do that again, 29. So that's going to take a few more minutes. I'm just going to pause the video uh, while this is uploading that image and we'll come back to it just before it gets there. Okay, so this image is nearly upgraded now. Uh, you can see we're up to 91 megs here. So it's about, I think it was about 97 megs, this image. And you can see it's nearly there. And we'll see in the background, the playbook, um, as soon as the image has upgraded, it will go to the next step. Uh, but there it goes so that's the full image now now the next task is to change the boot variable to the new image it's done that and now it's going to reload the device so i've got a ping going here so this is i'm pinging the switch um, so the reload command has been issued that prompt the confirm prompt has come up um, Ansible's answered that prompt and said yes, and the switch is now rebooting. So what should happen now, the switch will reboot, uh, come back with its new image. And now we're waiting for the device to come back online. So remember we've set that wait for command, so that's just going to sit there. I'm going to pause this a second while this reboots, it could take a couple minutes. So it's been um, a few minutes now. The switch is just about to come back. 
Um, so I'm just going to start the recording again because once this ping uh, returns, uh, you'll see the wait for device is going to move to the next step. And what that's doing is once it's past the 90 second point where I put the wait, so it's pointless trying to connect if in, in the first 90 seconds. Um, but once it's past that point and the switch has come back, it will then keep polling uh, the device, trying to SSH to it. And as soon as it can SSH to the device and get a connection, we'll then move to the next section of the playbook where it's going to then validate the image is correct and then tell us we've got a success. Now this is where if you're performing a software upgrade uh, remotely um, and you've got no way of seeing what's going on, it's a little bit of a, a scary moment. Um, I would suggest if you're doing this remotely, there we go, the switch is back. Um, so we've got a ping response and we've now said the device, the wait for device to come back online, that's happened. So that's moved the playbook to the next step. Um, we're now in the check image version stage and it's come back and said the current version is 12255 SE12 and we now need to assert that the iOS version is correct. That says all assertions have passed so the version 12255 SE12 was the one that I wanted to upgrade to. The switch is running that version. Um, here it says all assertions have passed and then it tells me the software upgrade has been completed. Now that should be more than enough confirmation to anybody that it's working. Um, but just to verify that, here's the switch. And if I say a show version, we're now 12.255 SE12. This is one of the funny things with network automation is that I've seen a lot of people do this. They, they perform the task using Ansible. They do the Ansible um, upgrade. Everything works fine. And the image comes back. This says, yep, we're good. Everything is, is fine. Ansible has told them the image is right, but they still then want to go back and do the CLI and do that final verification. So still holding on to the CLI, not wanting to let go. Um, I see it all the time. Um, it's quite funny, but literally um, you don't have to go back into the CLI to verify this. I've just did this to show you for the video. Um, the fact that this is here is proof enough. Now I hope you enjoyed this video and like I said, please subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. Um, there's lots of videos on there already. I try and get one or two out every week on different topics. If you'd like it, leave a comment in the video of uh, any other lessons you would like me to do. And as I said, this is on my website rogerperkin.co.uk um, I'll link it underneath here and we've got how to perform an iOS upgrade on a Cisco switch using Ansible uh, that then details every step that I talk through in the video all the way through here lots and lots of information on every element of that playbook so thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video